With the release of Overwatch 2, Lucio has retaken his throne as an incredible support. Even though he has had very little changes to his kit within the game, the playstyle of Overwatch 2 has changed quite a bit with less tanks on the field. Keep in mind that today's guide is strictly discussing the major things that have changed with Lucio in Overwatch 2. Movement settings and overall comfortability with his kit are of utmost importance to prioritize your improvement process on. I suggest watching the first Lucio guide on my channel before referencing this one, but let's get right into the changes. If you have played in the beta of Overwatch 2, you may have have realized how insane Lucio's self-healing was, allowing you to duel enemies much more often than you realistically should have been able to. To counteract this, his healing song now heals you for 60% less instead of only 30% less. This changes his playstyle slightly in the sense where he has to be much more calculated with his decisions, but we will get into that later. Lucio's sound barrier now costs 12% less than it did in Overwatch 1, meaning you can get the ultimate faster than you did before. Well, not exactly. Keep in mind that you have lost a whole character in Overwatch 2. The off take in Overwatch 1 was a significant significant deterrent to chip damage which is now no longer in play. So in Overwatch 2, you will actually get your ultimate just as effective as before since you are forced to be on heal more. Also keep in mind that because of the new support passive, Ana's and other supports are able to greed for anti-nades more so than they were in original games. This gives you opportunities to get a few points of ultimate charge here and there. This is a good change as it further pushes the skill ceiling of the character and allows for more opportunities for you to carry compared to the enemy Lucio. Let's now move into Overwatch 2 and how it has changed Lucio playstyle. We have mentioned the concept of tempo in the various other Overwatch 2 support guides we have created in the past months, and Lucio is not an exception. Lucio is still the default brawl support that you need to have on your team if they expect to get up close and personal, but now that there is one less tank, it is much easier to explain tempo and how you can influence it as Lucio. Refer to the intometer on screen. On one side of the spectrum, you have Zarya, who tends to play the slowest in brawl compared to the other tanks. This is because in order for her to play at her competitive advantage, she needs time to charge up her energy by absorbing damage through her bubbles, allowing her to deal more damage. Just remember that it does take time for her to do this though. On the other side of the spectrum, you have Junker Queen, who tends to play the fastest in Brawl compared to other tanks. This is because she excels at getting up close and personal. She does not have a shield for her to get close up like Reinhardt does, or bubbles to amplify her damage. She has a close range axe that inflicts bleed and a shout to continuously onslaught the enemy as a team. So when playing one against the other, understand how your amp usage will change based on the speed of the composition, with Junker Queen being being much faster than Zarya. However, imagine both teams are playing the exact same composition with the same tanks. The game is now slowed down greatly, which affects your amp usage. For example, in the Junker Queen matchup, instead of the game being about who aggresses harder, it is more about who can force out cooldowns from the other team first, creating an opportunity to be aggressive after. It plays much more like an aggressive six-man composition in Overwatch 1, in the sense that the team is waiting for an opportunity to present itself to be extremely aggressive, not just being aggressive out of the gate. So understand that you are going to play to amp heals more frequently in Overwatch 2 compared to that of Overwatch 1, and that is an effect of what is strong right now, mainly Sojourn. That being said, if you are not playing in the mirror presented, understand the speed of which you and the enemy are playing and adjust your playstyle accordingly. If you're playing Brawl versus a slow spam composition, it is likely that you will be amping to get extremely aggressive more often. Not so much that you will be just speed botting, but a little bit more than usual. You will find that looking for time to reddit or flank for picks within brawl compositions in Overwatch 2 is limited. This can be attributed with the newfound gap in the frontline as well as the self-healing change that makes your life significantly more difficult. However, this can change if your team decides to lock a more dive-centric playstyle, where they try to surround the enemy. In this scenario, you have much more breathing room to flank, but understand that your friendly support is priority number one. Amp is the majority of your value in the new game, so make sure you minimize using it on just yourself. If there are playing characters like Ana, Zenyatta, or Baptiste, they're going to need a lot more help against flankers compared to the likes of Kiriko, Moira, and Brigitta. Keep this in mind before you go off on your own and make sure that you're peeling for your friendly support. That being said, I do not suggest Lucio into these types of dive compositions right now as Ana, Zenyatta, Kiriko, or even Brigitta are better options at the moment. Lucio excels the most in Brawl, and it will stay that way until another character that provides speed opportunities is released into the game. So if you're gonna play Lucio in Overwatch 2, you have to look to charge your sound barrier quickly and effectively and support the tempo your team wants to play to the best of your ability. Stay on walls and use your amp when it is time to get aggressive or just to heal your team after some chip damage. While Lucio is very similar to the way he was played in Overwatch 1, there are a few things to keep in mind when playing Overwatch 2, and if you can manage this, you will find him to be much more enjoyable. With all that being said, don't forget to check out the original guide in order to get a better grasp of Lucio's kit quickly to start carrying your games on support. Don't be afraid to ask me questions, but until next time, I've got a peace out and paz out. I'll see you in the next one.